today, uh, some specialty moves. Um, I uh, <laughs> had a lot of attention from one of the videos I posted from our top roller we did, and uh, they were asking me about the north-south choke and like the head and arm one, and Steven has a very good one, okay? Uh, he's put me there, he's put a lot of us there, okay? So I was going to let him show that today uh, since he's just so efficient at it, and uh, I kind of want to see him teach anyway. So, <laughs> come on up, Steven. Uh, either of those two. Basically, you want to start when you want to get their arm locked up by their neck like that, like that position. So, whether it, if it's already there, that's nice. But if usually it's not, you have to like kind of scoop it up here and then reset like that here. So once it's locked up there, all I do is take this arm and I slide it through, and I kind of grab my knee pit here, just in case he starts getting real squirmy. My next move, I take this hand and I'm gonna go block his far side hit. And when I do that here, I kind of, I sprawl low, and I want to end up with his arm locked against my rib cage and, and stepping on his neck. So I go here, like this, and I kind of sprawl down like that here. So, one thing I don't want is my elbow off the mat, so I like to drive back into him a little bit here. And then I just kind of connect my hands, and just kind of flex that bicep up tight like that. It's a pretty good choke. Good choke, right? Not a neck crank. You'll crank their neck if your elbow is off the mat here and you start squeezing hard. So that's why I make sure it's real deep here. Come through. Sometimes you gotta make adjustments with this hand. Like his arm's kind of on his like ear right now, so I'll reach under, kind of pop it back up. And I'll go low again. Make sure that elbow is kind of tight to the mat, and then I'll just squeeze that bicep up to the finish. What's your hand connection look like? Just I just kind of scrape it just usually. Yeah, I feel like that. Get this the best way, so make sure it's locked up high there. Scoot under here quick. Just block his hip. Sprawl down. Make an adjustment if you need to here. Just kind of circle a little elbow down and then just kind of flex it up tight like that. It might just be because my biceps are so big why it works so well, but. <laughs> Any questions? So the hand that's around the neck, are you palm up or palm down? I'm going to pull him up. So this is what it looks like right here. I'm going to grab my thigh and then I block his hip. I sprawl down like that and then I just lock it together here. Make sure the elbow's down and kind of adjust his arm. <clears throat> Put your ribs down. The, fa the final finish is just a like shoulder drop and a bicep squeeze like that. You're not squeezing him a whole lot. Um, just at the end there, really, it doesn't take that much, I feel like. I feel tight throughout that, right at the end there. So if you have me in that, how do I get out of it? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I've always wanted to do this. Alright, one, two, three.